Peeps, how's it going? First thing that we're doing today is we are here at the salt mines. I know what you're thinking. This does not look like a salt mine. I thought the exact same thing five minutes ago. We're still waiting in line and we're gonna be going in very shortly. And I'm still hoping that when we go through these doors over here, there's like 5,000 steps down into the earth and it's a whole new city. That would impress me. I'm just kidding. Look, this is apparently the most visited place in all of Poland. Apparently, one million visitors come through here every single year, so there must be something super cool down there. We're gonna find out very shortly. I'm gonna moonwalk back over here to get something. Thank you. I got my ticket and we are heading in now. Few things that I wanna tell you guys about salt because I researched this and uh, super interesting. Once upon a time, one kilo of gold equaled two kilos of salt. That is definitely not the case right now, but imagine that once upon a time, that's how important and that's how expensive salt was, which is why they have this salt mine museum so that we can talk about that part of history. Another piece of trivia, once upon a time, whoa, whoa that's super cool. Okay, that's gonna be us in five down, minutes. Down, down. Yeah, oh, so I'm already a little bit impressed because I was expecting that we would take a bunch of steps all the way down, but we're taking one of these old school elevators all the way down, it's gonna be super cool. All right, so, uh, Basically, this is old school, peeps, and uh, it's got two cabins on top of each other, so you can get six people down there, six people up here. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Woo-wee! Look at this! We are going down into a salt mine, guys. Lord have mercy. Okay, like, oh, Karim, like your head is... I'm too, I'm too, uh, too tall for this, man. You cannot be a salt miner. Oh, oh my god. Are you okay? Watch your head. How many, how many stairs is it if we go by stairs? How many people can you 380 to the first level. 380 oh. steps. Yes. To the first level. Yes, we skip for 300 steps by taking the lift down to the first level. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's pitched up. <laughs> oh, wow. Peach, this is not a technical difficulty. We are in a salt mine elevator going down 400 oh, my ears pop. steps. Yep. Oh, ooh, yeah, I got to equalize. And now we're going. All right, now I'm semi impressed already, guys. Like, really, when we drove up here, I was like, we're next to a park. <laughs> you know? Whoa. We're all the way underground, Peach. <laughs> I was talking about the importance of salt and salt mining. Once upon a time in Poland, it represented one third of the GDP of the country, and it seems like there was only 17 people that so 17 people were responsible for one third of the GDP, and that was salt. Unbelievable. Peeps, this place is 700 years old. You can, you can, uh, the wind is coming down from the top, obviously much needed. I don't know if you can hear the wind on purpose. I'm going to keep that because I want you to know that they created this channel so that the wind can come through and the people that were working over here could actually breathe and have some air and have some air conditioning. But this is supposed to be the oldest chamber of this entire mine. This was built 700 years ago with hand tools. Whoa, oh my God. Uh, we're continuing to walk and you can see on the sides everything's held up by wood and rock. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, but we basically skipped 400 steps to get down here. This is the first part of it. The air we're heading to the next good. part. It's healthy here, not dusty like in many other mines. It's yeah. easy to breathe. So there were people dying here, but not as many as in the other mines. Oh, thank you. You should feel safe. Um, so what did we die of then? I don't know if they should tell people that in here. Yes, falling downstairs or ladders. Peeps, we're walking through. There is like an entire chain of tunnels over here. And I just want to show you guys the top over there. That is not a roof that's been burnt down. That is a roof made of salt. All that is salt. 
So look at how this place was structured. It's obviously been cleaned up from how it was 700 years ago for sure. Super clean right now, super nice, and apparently super safe, except for those few people that unfortunately didn't make it. I guess she meant a long time ago, not right now. Now, this is not a mine that's being mined right now. This is a museum. It's just to show you guys what it was like 700 years ago in this industry. How did they bring horses down here? And with the machines used to transport salt. They were used to transport a block of salt up and the horse down is a mm. counterbalance for that block of salt. So wow. in the shaft there were two ropes, you see, here under the ceiling. Two ropes, the shaft is on the other side of the chamber. Mm. Block of salt was coming up and the horse was descending on the rope. This is the one time that I'm totally happy to be a little bit shorter because uh, I don't have to like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But as soon as I go back upstairs, I'm gonna be a basketball player. It's, like, it's, <laughs> it's always there. <laughs> Peeps, very quickly, I want to tell you guys that this is a statue of Nicholas Copernicus, one of the most famous astronomers in the world. This is a tribute to him. It's completely made of salt. Actually, everything over here is made of salt, including this wall over here floor over here this is amazing and I just want to go very quickly very close now this salt is not white or pink as we know it but that's because this salt is actually not completely pure this salt actually contains other things in it and that's why it's got this um, color but this is not the kind of salt that we would eat uh, you know with our food at this stage it's got to be purified and everything like that I'm just walking a little bit fast because we've got other tours coming right after us but Super impressive. Look at this. All of this is salt. Neat. Wow. So we're basically like under the city. Right? Yeah, like 60, 60 meters. Oh, crazy. When a Polish prince called Wolesław proposed to Hungarian princess Kinga, her father, King Bela, insisted on a traditional dowry. She knew that no rock salt was mined in Poland. She requested the miners to look for salt. The miners discovered salt deposits near Krakow. Poland centuries not prosperity. Peeps, now that story makes a lot more sense. The story about how important and how expensive salt was. I told you guys, and I told you guys that story before we heard that. But uh, yeah, it goes to show you what salt was like before. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could do that right now? Like you run to the supermarket, you buy a bag of salt. It's kind of like having half a kilo of gold. <laughs> these chambers over here, these are 400 years old, but the oldest chambers are 700 years old. Unfortunately, not accessible to people like you and I at this stage. Okay, so one of the problems with uh, mining is that it would release methane gas into the mine, which is highly flammable. So to get rid of the methane gas, one of the ways they used to do is they would burn the methane gas. So they would send some guys down with poles with fire on it to burn out the methane and of course uh, it can result in a lot of explosions so the survival rate for these guys was not very high the only protection was wet clothes Ooh. all right check out this explosion guys this is what it feel like if you were in there when an explosion happened and sometimes it was fatal Peeps, you're going to notice that I am putting my jacket on and for the next few shots I might have my jacket on. That is because we are way down below and it's actually 5 or 10 degrees colder. Seriously, like, I didn't feel this upstairs and my hands are super cold. Like, if I had gloves, I'd be wearing gloves right now. And this is completely natural. This is not an air-conditioned channel or tunnel network. This is completely natural. There's like air coming through, which is amazing. 400 years ago, the miners brought horses to the mine. This is not the only mine where the horses worked. Miners looked after them really well. They had to. They were expensive, important for the mine. They were only used where roadways were fairly level, high enough for them to pass. So they lived here under the ground for many years. 
you will see a small stable in the next chamber. Okay, that is super cool. What makes this particular mine super unique is the fact that a lot of the things that you see over here are real. They're original. They've been here for four to seven hundred years. You know why? It's because salt preserves things, right? So even this wood, like this, this over here, this trolley, this is like super old. It's because the salt has preserved it. Isn't that amazing? My God, like historically people have used salt to preserve so many things. We know it as the thing that we use to preserve things like fish, which we still do. We do that in the UAE. It's a, a dish called maleh, which I haven't featured yet on my vlogs, but I will very soon. Oh, some miners. I don't know if those are real miners or actors, but uh, it looked pretty real to me. <laughs> So this structure is about 300 years old and that's what they used to bring those salt cylinders up. Now let me show you the whole process in like a miniature format because this is it. This is the process guys. This is how horses were brought down to help mine and how salt was bought up to be obviously sold or shared or traded or whatever they did. So here it is. It's actually bizarre, peeps, because it actually smells like horses in here. And this is like stables, uh, which you see on the right over here. This is where they kept horses and they fed them and all that sort of stuff. And what's cool is that they actually never took the horses back up because it was very difficult to bring them down in the first place. So they stayed here and they just built some stables. So peeps, I was talking about how important and how expensive salt was, but did you know that the word salary being paid for doing a job actually comes from salt? And that's because historically, the Roman army paid its soldiers in salt. Yes, my God, how times have changed. superb 40 years to excavate this entire chamber 40 years just using hand tools I'm gonna get you guys some salt <laughs> it's like super strong be like careful <laughs> oldest trick in the book Karim <laughs> I know <laughs> So very relevant to food, do you know that rock salt is actually so much better for you than sea salt or any other type of salt than this? Because it's so much more pure than any other salt. So, hey, switch over to rock salt. And also, um, the lady actually told us that we need to be very careful about how much salt we actually put in food. We already know that, but the reason for that we may not know and I didn't know until now is because pretty much everything that we consume has a little bit of salt in there and we really don't need that much more salt so be careful Peeps, you just saw a well and you just saw a man pumping that water out. And water was super important, obviously, for a lot of reasons. One being drinking, two being cleaning, as well as in the use of mining the salt. But here's the thing, water is actually the enemy over here. Because remember, ceilings, walls, floors, all made of salt. And imagine what would happen if water actually poured onto all of this. You guessed it, it would collapse. It's the same thing that happens when you pour salt into any liquid and it just kind of dissolves, right? So that would happen. How dangerous is that? You need water. But you have to be super careful with it down here. So peeps, 20 chapels down here, not for any other reason other than the miners coming here every single day and praying for their safety, because that's how dangerous it was. Now, out of the 20, some of them were actually built out of salt, and uh, guess what? Over time, they just kind of dissolve. Others were built from wood, and guess what happened to those? So the statues that you see on my left and right, the statue of Jesus on the cross, and the statues like this one over here, they're made of wood and they were preserved by the salt. Peeps, I'm gonna show you guys the largest chamber down here. Take a look at this because it is super impressive. It's further down, but look how big it is. Reminds me of like a major train station underground, doesn't it? 
Now, three people worked for 67 years to make this entire room. My God, how much patience must you have and how much skill must you have to do something like this? I mean, this is probably as high as a four-story building. This is not small. Now, obviously the chandeliers were not there, but everything else, the way they carved everything, the steps and those statues and everything, oh my God. This place is actually in honor of Queen Kinga from Hungary who married the Polish prince and uh, who's a patron of uh, this salt mine as well. Wow, this is super impressive. I wanna go take a closer look at the statues because I think they're super cool. Peeps, everything here is made out of salt. So you've got these walls over here, you've got the steps and these statues, they put a little plastic cover around it. But I wanna tell you one thing about these statues. I mean, it is unbelievable and salt is not an easy thing to work with, right? If you kind of hit it too hard, it might break. If you are not careful, you might like shave something off and it'll completely change the shape. But my God, this was done so long ago and so beautifully so you understand the amount of care and the amount of skill that actually went into it. Oh my god, what I would give to know every single one of these stories over here. There are so many of them and obviously always based on truth or facts that were happening at the time. But my god, it looks like war, it looks like killing, it looks like um, so many things. water is fully saturated with salt so it doesn't absorb more salt doesn't dissolve salt anymore we did talk about the fact that water was the enemy over here and yet we just rocked up to a lake and I gotta tell you this is like a super salty lake there's 320 grams of salt per liter of water so what I was thinking of doing which is to get up on this and jumping in not gonna be good because you would float this thing is super salty and it could not dissolve any more salt actually making this super friendly for the salt mine it seems like we are 100 meters below sea level and one thing that i just heard is that apparently these mines are actually very good for people who suffer from things like asthma the air over here is super clean because of the salt and it's super nice to come here just breathe this amazing fresh salt cured air. Peace, this is what the mine looks like, or actually most of it, because the only parts that we're able to visit, 1% of the entire tunnel network, and only 3% of the entire tunnel network is actually illuminated like that. Oh, shukran, thank you. Thanks, Wana. So, uh, yeah, this is like crazy. That happens a lot as well. Lots of doors, but lots of air and wind coming through. It's so crazy, yeah. Thank you, and I'll let that go, and this is what happens. Oh, that one was actually good. This is just amazing, peeps. This is a huge room. There's so much wood in here, and it's actually not known how all this wood was actually brought down here, just because of the entrance, which is that one over there, and the exit, which is what we came through, super small. So they don't know how all this happened, but it's here. And I understand that these chandeliers up here they actually have salt crystals in them as well. So they've been decorated and put up in the chandeliers. That is the salt made statue of Joseph Pilsudski. I didn't want to get that wrong because he is a national hero. A lot of people say that he is actually responsible for getting Poland its independence. You know how we've been talking a lot about how Poland was invaded and run by so many different countries over its history. But it's a tribute to him down here. We're going further down, peeps. Super cool, we've basically got 400 meters above us in terms of stairs and we've actually been walking two and a half kilometers so far. So it's a great workout guys. If you wanna come over here, not only do you learn, but you also work out while you do it in great fresh air. I've also just been told that if you come early in the morning or late at night, it's a lot less crowded and you can enjoy it a lot more. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, on the other side of that tunnel over there, there's actually people working. And the reason they're working is because they're extending the tunnels, extending the mine, so that they can get better ventilation over here. So there's still a lot of work being done over here. Those people that you see walking around dressed like miners, like modern day miners, 
they're actually doing real work. Peeps, I gotta tell you this. Poland is lucky to have two different places on the UNESCO World Heritage Site in its first round. Two places. One is the old town which you saw on the vlog yesterday and if you haven't, here's the link above. And two is this salt mine. And that's the only country in the world that has two different spots on the first list of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Nineteen twelve. I don't know if that has any significance, but it is the end of our journey in the salt mines. And I learned so much about Poland just by being in these salt mines for the last one hour. Highly recommend it. Thank you very much, Tourism Board of Krakow and Poland. Thank you so much, Fly Dubai, Emirates, Grand Sheraton. It's been an amazing trip. We made it. Thank you. All right, we're out of here, but family, got you guys. Rock salt for everybody. Peeps, amazing end to an amazing trip. And look at this, one of the things that I really, really love, walking to the plane, the Fly Dubai plane that is taking us back home. That's all I have to say. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out.